Hey guys, let's get it. It's your man, it's your boy, Black Rue, back with another video. You can catch me every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Benzinga channel. If you haven't heard of Benzinga, Benzinga is the worldwide leader in stock news. They give news to TD Ameritrade, um, Webull, amongst others. Um, you can catch me on their YouTube channel every Monday. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on their channel for the Ruel Report where we do stock and crypto stuff, mostly crypto. Today, your boy Black Roo just wants to have a little PSA. Just sit down, talk to, to me for like 10 minutes here. People are so scared, like the stock market's down, the crypto market's down. And uh, your boy's going to do what I always do, not financial advice. I'm just going to lay out the facts. You make your own decision, but I um, feel like I need to bring this out and for the people. All right. So let's look at it here. Um, we got the markets. They're down. And uh, leads me to a quote from Warren Buffett. Not like we need his quotes, but um, this quote I think is very, very insightful. He says, when people are greedy, be fearful. When people are fearful, be greedy. Basically what Uncle Warren is saying, hey, if people are greedy, or you got this greedy top of a market, be fearful then. On the other hand, people are fearful and you got all this low, all this low, then be greedy. And it is total, it's a total inverse of what we feel and we think in our heart. But these traders know that. The, the real good ones like him and others, they know that. Just like foreclosures, people are real greedy at that time. They come in, they swoop up foreclosures, unfortunately. I hate to say that. But we got to transform our thinking here. Everybody's really scared. I think we should just transform our thinking into thinking it's on sale. It's shopping, guys. Bitcoin was as high as almost 70000 Now it's pretty much half off. Right? Is this the bottom? We don't know. It could drop to $28,000. That's, that's, that's 30% of... Uh, 38, but it's still way better than the guy up here, right? And here's the thing. We want to make sure that when the bull market's in, we want to start scaling out so that we have money on our hands for when it goes back down to the low. Now, when it goes down to the low, if you're still scared and you're still fearful, that's fine. But you can scale your way back in again because we're shopping now. Things are at a discount now. So you could scale your way back in. Another way of putting this it would be, okay, what if you were this guy? You bought, like, okay, let's say right here. What if you were this guy? You bought at 43.5, right? And you just thought, Okay, Bitcoin was at 65. I'm buying at 43. You had to wait. And you lost, what, 4,000 more? But you're still better off than this guy. All right? You see what I'm saying? So, you can work your way back in here. And start making, making, taking advantage of some of these, some of these sales. Another way of looking at it is, okay, when's the last time Bitcoin's been this low? Right here, January 2021. So you're getting <clears throat> Bitcoin at a yearly sale. Another way we can look at it is you see the high, low, high, low. Okay, it was high April 21st. When was it low? June 
20th. So, April's the 4th month, June's the 7th month, 3 months. Okay, June, November. That was the next high. June's the 7th month, November is the 11th month. So, what, about 4 months here. November to January. Or to February, excuse me. About three months. So we got like a three to four month cycle, it seems here. All right. So maybe in three or four months, Bitcoin's sitting at 80K or 75K. We don't know. We don't know if it keeps going down here. But we can scale ourselves in and take advantage of some of this discount, right? We can go over here and look. Stock market's down 60 points. When's the last time it dropped 60 points? Well, that's Rona right here. That's that Rona drop. Went about 110 points. Here, 2018, went about 60 points. Last time it dropped that much. Got to go all the way to back to 07, where it dropped like 60 points over a six-month period. All these other periods took about three two to three months other than uh the rona period which took basically a month so guys all i'm saying is we got to transform our the our thinking into into thinking that this is a sale and start buying and um yeah that's just just that's what we got to do guys um you know scale yourself in if you still don't feel comfortable but take advantage of some of this right here. It's like by scaling yourself in, like say do you put like just five percent of your money else in back in here, or you adjust your portfolio five percent into like lower cost stuff, and it starts going up, then you know, pick a point. Say like, okay, I'm gonna invest more if it goes to 40. If it passes. Bitcoin solidly passed 40 to like 45 to like four, 400 or 40, 40K and $500. I'm putting in some more money. If it goes to 42, I'm putting in more money until you feel comfortable to kind of scale it all in. Or, you know, you, you put in 5% here and it goes down to 35. Scale it in with some more. It goes down 29. Scale into some more and be like, okay, done. If it goes down past 27 or whatever, I'm not putting in any more money until it makes it back to 35. These are some rules and things that you can put in place for that. Um, one thing I want to show you guys, I have a Patreon, right? Um, so this is this is going the other way. When you're in the bull market... You want to make sure that um, you you take gains and then you scale yourself out the other way. So, um, okay, so let's just look at the Patreon here. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to look at some... Patreon, publish posts. We're going to go to just before. Okay, so here. Of course, not financial advice, but we're just, I want you to just take a look at this. So, not financial advice. We're just watching coins. And, um, you know, we started watching this at 25 cents. And at this point, it was sitting at 55, 60 cents. So had you invested 25, that's a home run. You got over double what you invested. We come over here. We plug in rows. So ba -ba 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 -ba. we want rows Oasis Network. Okay, so now we invested at like 25, so we invested right here. Now it's at an all-time high. 
So, you know, if you see it probably around like 58, when go back down to 58, start scaling out. Because you, you invested 25, 58, you're still, 100%, you're still at a home run. And you start to scale your way out. So you can save some of your money, not financial advice, but this is just what I do. Save some of your money for when you hit lows like this. This is how this is played, y'all. Um, I just wanted to kind of hit you guys with that. Also, I wanted to say sort of the reason why we kind of invest in multiple things is diversity of the portfolio. Because hopefully when things like this are hitting, there's an inverse of the market that's going up while all of this stuff is going down. Just so happened that everything pretty much is on its everything is pretty much down. But what you can do, if you still want like some sort of turn gains, so you can go out there and try to play the flipping NFT game. It's really, 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 really hard to do that. When I invest in the NFTs, I prefer to invest in things like land, things like games, like horses and stuff like that. But I just want to show you this little 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 fun fact here. So this is Sandbox. Uh, if you invested. Oh my god, it won't stop moving on me. Oh my god, I want to show them this, please. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, okay, let me just re reset this. Maybe we might not be able to go all time because it's not allowing us to right here. Sales, um, last 90 days, let's say last year of sales. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Okay, let's do it all time. So right here, I saw 24 flash up there. I don't know if you guys saw that, 0.24 I should say. Okay, so even right here. So if you held on to this about more, a little over two years, the average price of land right here was 0 0.08. Right here, November. Okay, let's just go to January. You bought land here in January. You would have paid... 0.49 floor price is point or 3.35 so you would have more than tripled your money so all the stuff that i'm telling you guys about over here with this stuff is a long-term play even though we can look at pavia and i've been t talking to you guys about this right we talked about it like three or 370 about 370 floor price is 489 now so that's a hundred point gain but you know everything i'm telling you guys about we're trying to it the, the real game is long term but um only thing with the coins i would just suggest if they reach them all-time highs like that that you you know you cut them in half and you take out your initial investment you hit a home run, you put in twenty dollars, it's up to forty dollars now. Take out that twenty, you know what I mean? So now you can, you know, what's ever left in there is just pure profit. Or some people might uh, like my me myself personally, I like to wait till it goes past a little past that uh home run point. So I take out so say I put in forty, it's at forty two now. I I take out twenty two, so I guarantee myself that I, I took out Plus my, plus my initial investment. So, um, but you know, you can always continue to scale out, scale out until you're out and wait till another low. And then, you know, start putting in some of that money you got when you scaled out. Um, I don't know. So basically what I'm saying to you guys is, Let's tra let's um let's transform my thoughts on this. This is a discount. You don't have to feel like real real like 
don't do anything you're not comfortable with, but um, seems to me like what I'm doing is I'm going to scale back into this boys, these boys, because to me, what I see now is I see a 50% discount on a lot of things or like we were seeing with Rose, more than a 50% discount on some of the coins that I really, really have really liked. So when I'm seeing that 50% discount, you know, I'm scaling myself back in because when it comes back to this high, I'm, pre I'm preparing down here. So that when I get to this high again, it's going to be really, 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 really happy times. All right. So um, come over to the channel. All you have to do is put in darkhorsewatcher.com. Bam. Leads you directly to the channel where you can like and subscribe. We're making a push to 1,000 subscribers. We're 125 away, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let's try to make the push. I want to get there by my birthday. So we got a little over a month um, to get to 100 to uh, 1,000 subscribers. Take a look at some of my previous videos here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Peace.